Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Lambrecht and I want to thank you for joining me today to talk about reality based on quantum physics. I think it's really important right now to share this information. I'm a doctor of integrative medicine and have been in the healthcare field for over 25 years in many roles. Quantum physics has been around for over 80 years and the mainstream public know little about it. We now use quantum technology for smartphones where they can mul do multiple functions simultaneously. A regular computer, when given a maze to go through, will go through each scenario or path one at a time until it finds the path or way out of the maze and will then reveal the answer. A quantum computer, on the other hand, sends over 3,000 scouts at the exact same time, coming up with an answer instantaneously. Quantum means at the smallest level, and at that level, all there is, is energy. Quantum science has proven the brain doesn't know the difference between real and imagined. So I try to be careful what I will expose myself to and watch my thoughts and redirect them when they turn to the negative. This time in history is about self-love, acceptance and compassion. We are an energy and together we can create any world we desire. We are given the opportunity and ability to have heaven on earth if we choose. Everything is possible just like quantum physics has proven. It all depends on the intent and consciousness, believing it to be true with all its senses and feelings as if it's already there. If we hold this thought and feeling and then imagine it together and focus on what we want our world to look like, we can have it spontaneously. It's called a quantum leap. We don't have to wait for the government and elite to destroy our future by keeping us in their story and the low vibration so that we cannot ascend to something greater. We have been slaves to their narrative with their ownership of all the news channels to feed us the story they want us to believe. They created a banking system and manipulated the stock markets all in the name of profits, high taxes, many rules, laws, regulations that we all must follow or there'll be repercussions. They program us by channeling us a selective narrative of information. Information is power, right? They own over 90% of the global wealth and we are their puppets. All crime is in one way or another connected to money, bribes and threats. We are programmed through movie, music, art, schools, religion, etc. We have, our collective energy field, been kept in a narrow bandwidth through low vibrational energies such as fear, fear for our safety, division, hate, greed, competitiveness, jealousy, and the list goes on. We are told we are crazy if we want to pray or if we want to connect to a universal consciousness or if we can speak to ascended masters. This is all known as the clairs, like clairvoyance and clairsentience, which all of us are capable of doing if we were taught and if we could practice it, like any skill. If we didn't have practice walking or knew that we could walk, we probably never would. We only believe we can do the things we were taught we could do. Until someone says, I can do more. Someone like composers Bach and Beethoven, inventors like Tesla, Einstein, Bell, the Wright brothers, and many others who confess that the idea just suddenly came to them or that the words just wrote themselves or that a higher being channeled it through them. When this happens, it shocks the worker because the work produced doesn't feel right and it doesn't have the words that you would have normally used. It's just an amazing work.
from a higher, a higher perspective. To keep us in a lower vibration and maintain control, they had to prevent us from ever knowing that we have the power to change things with our consciousness. If we focused together, imagined, and dreamed of the world we want to live in, remember, there is no difference between thoughts and doing something physically. This is science. Not some crazy fiction. I know it sounds crazy because our programs tell us they are. Open up your mind for a minute and look at other possibilities and feel what is right. Your body is very intelligent. Listen to it. Listen to the small voice that warns you. It's trying to tell you that you're under the influence of lower vibrational forces and you need to follow your higher authentic self's advice. This is the voice to your salvation. It's like the angel on one shoulder and the devil on the other. Right now in the world, we're seeing the devils playing their game. Their mission is to enslave species and conquer worlds. And they do this by imposing duality, opposites, good and bad. They get us to divide and attack one another. The traditional Chinese call this duality the yin and yang, that there's two sides to the same thing, like a coin. It's both tails and heads at the same time, but you only perceive the side that you can observe with your senses. Out of sight, out of mind, right? We are all energy, but because of our frequency and vibration, we are moving slower and appear more solid. But we all know we are 70% water, and then every cell is like 99.99999% empty space. So at the physical world's smallest point, or quanta energy, energy fluctuates between being a particle, which we can see, and a wave, which is energy that we cannot see in this density. Nobel Prizes have been won for this discovery. An electron is either the particle or the wave. Protons are light, which is what we are made of, and neutrons are neutral. So we are light, and it's the electrons that fuel us. Electrons are just like they sound. They are electricity, and electricity carries information. This is how our nerves work, through electrical impulses that carry the information from our bodies through our senses but it, to the brain, but it also carries this information to the matrix or fabric of the universe. It goes both ways. The Chinese call this electrical pathways the natus, and it is where acupuncture originates. These are energy lines through our body, just like the earth having ley lines where energy flows. Everything in nature works the same. We can't fight nature or we end up getting beat up until we go with the flow. It's like the river. The water just flows. Even when there are obstacles, it just flows around it, keeping its steady pace no matter what comes its way. We need to be like the water. If you fight and struggle to go against the flow, you will drain all your energy and in the end, you will end up going with the flow. Be who you are meant to be and follow the energy of your passions that create value for yourself and the rest of humanity. I like using a tree as an analogy. With each individual leaf thinking it's separate from the others. If a leaf is red, brown, yellow, or black, a green leaf may judge them as inferior. But in reality, as a whole, with all the leaves displaying their magnificent colors, it makes the most beautiful sight you have ever seen. Earth and all its diversity is truly a beautiful and amazing planet which you belong, just as the leaf belongs to the tree. Let's support and love each other and create the world we were meant to live in before we are manipulated into a holographic, made-up reality. It's time for humanity to wake up, increase your frequency, and rise to 5D and take your rightful place in the galaxy. The good always wins in the end. So now I opened a can of worms because what are densities or 5D, right? Well, the simplest way to explain it is rocks are first density, 
Trees are second density and humans and animals are third density, each obtaining more movement in each dimension or density. As we raise our frequency, we rise in density, giving us more freedom and abilities. So in fifth density, we could be able to fly. We could heal ourselves, create by thought alone. We could breathe underwater. We could change our physical appearance at will. Imagine the house you want and boom, it appears. It can be anything we collectively focus on. We are holding the current matrix together by believing in it. And we have a chance right now with this COVID pandemic to come together and imagine ourselves out of this low fear based vibration and co-create our world of peace and harmony, a place where all our needs are met and everyone did what they loved. If you love inventing things, we support and need that. If you love children, then that is where you contribute. Those who love working the land, love animals, love to paint, sing, dance, draw, it doesn't matter. We need to be able to differentiate and be the energy or person we were created to be. Each of us are drawn to different things and that's what makes humans so amazing. It is like the human body. It all starts with a bunch of identical cells and then there is a spark and everything starts to change into different kinds of cells. Some will be skin cells, others nerve cells, brain cells, heart cells, liver cells, brain cells, and the list goes on. They all come together to form you in unity. You are a mini universe for the lives of all those trillion cells. All the different creatures, planets, animals, and humans in all forms are like the differentiation of your cells for planet Earth. Do you like one cell more than the other in your body? No, you love and need all your cells. Did you know each one of your cells is alive and it has its own consciousness? It has a job to do that is directed by the energy of your subconscious mind. Your body listens to you, otherwise you wouldn't even be able to stand up when you wanted. We all played Simon Says when we were little, and the body does exactly what it's told to do. Left foot in, right foot in, left foot out, shake all about, we do whatever Simon says. It's a rare occurrence when our body just starts moving and doing things on its own. It listens to you. So when you're angry, you instruct your cells to be angry and a chemical cascade occurs to do whatever you command. Our goal in life is to recognize these energies and not allow them to affect our emotions. Emotions is literally energy in motion and we feel this energy moving within us. The heart flutters, the lump in your throat, the butterflies in your stomach. When we allow these motions to just move through us and we observe them and reflect on them and let them go, that's a great thing. But when we react to these things and the, the emotions overtake us, it creates problems in our future. It is the repeated emotions that cause the negative neuropeptides to damage your cells and in time you will develop a disease if you don't learn to stay calm and balanced. My course Higher Order Thinking teaches you how to cope with these emotions and gives you tools and strategies to operate from your higher self, your authentic self. But in these devastating times I am compelled to help everyone with this information if it resonates with them. If you are here listening to this right now, then the energies directed you here because there are no mistakes. Just know things do not have to be this way. We decide. So I ask you all to imagine the world you want to live in. Only ever think and say things that you want. Never, never talk about what you don't like and don't want. Open your heart and send loving healing to yourself and allow it to spread through the earth and out into the cosmos. Tell me what your new world looks like. What can we create together? I love you all. We are one. Love and light. Dr. Robin. Thank you so much.